Hello, I'm David the Collector, and I'm here with another exciting art unboxing. This one has to do with Pokemon, though. It's a bit of a crossover. You might have remembered me opening up David Heo's Charizard Prince. This is part two. Um, I'll explain that in a second. First, I wanted to show off my shirt. Today, we're wearing a Dennis Moradman shirt. Um, I'm not even going to say who made it, just because they ended up pulling it from their website so quickly because of... Who knows why? Um, but you could go look it up if you wanted to figure it out. Today I'm wearing this shirt because I cannot wear a cool fashion during the pandemic. There's nowhere to go. So I wear this shirt in the video for you. It has to do with David Heo because David Heo, like me, is from Chicago where Dennis Rodman played basketball. So this shirt also says, that is I want to be kind of cool. So yeah, just wanted to show that shit off a little bit before we do the opening. Let's get into it. So. Um, David Heo did this first release in Complex Con with a company called Pop Inked. They are back with the similar release. Um, in the first release, there were pull cards. Um, you were looking for a shiny um, Charizard as well as a hollow Charizard. A shiny Charizard means the color of the skin of the Charizard is blue instead of red. And a hollow one means that the background is holographic. So didn't pull the chase cards, um, but they re-released them in editions of 10 for holographic and 50, 15 for shining. So if, watch my first video if you haven't seen it for more information about David um, and stay tuned because David has done sculptures with unique boards. So I will open those in the future. But for now, let's get these prints open and try to show them off on camera. So we'll set this one aside. Not sure if this one is hollow. Yeah, this is the hollow one. So starting with the, the holographic one, very cool. That hollow background is dope. I actually don't think I'm even gonna open it more than this. At risk of jeopardizing the print, we're just gonna wrap that guy back up. Um, my print archive is dense. I love to have pieces like this in the archive. Um, I have no intention of reselling these pieces anytime soon, um, but I view these almost as NFTs or a form of currency in some ways. I really, really like to support all of the artists that I follow um, and buy as many of their prints as possible in an effort to support them as well as sort of collect them over time. So this is the blue shining Charizard. Wanted to show you that guy. Um, I will talk through more of, about my print archive, how I do that storage technique and how I, um, think about collecting prints in another video. We'll relate that all to crypto. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, like and subscribe um, if you like the idea and subscribe if you want to see it later. Um, thank you for watching this video. It was a short one just showing off some of the prints, not fully opening them just because I don't want to damage them, um, but they will be in the archive soon. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good one.